Happy St. Patrick's Day! I hope you all are having a wonderful spring break. Today I would like to show you how to make your own little shamrock so that way you can do some decorating for St. Patrick's Day. Here's some examples. Um, some of these are painted. These are painted. Uh, this one's done with soft pastels, which are like chalk. This one's done with crayons with a little sticker. So you can decorate these with whatever you just might have around the house. But I want to just show you how to make the shamrock. So we're going to start with just a regular old piece of paper. And I'm going to take a bowl to use to make a circle. You see, I turn that upside down. I'm going to use my beautiful rainbow pencil since we're talking about St. Patrick's Day here. And you can see I traced a circle. Now I'm going to cut that out. The technique I will be using today is similar to how I teach my students how to cut snowflakes in the winter. I think this makes it really easy. If you start with a circle first, then you take your circle, you fold it in half like a taco, line it up, put your finger in the middle, and slide one side to the other. Then, see that rainbow? Take this side of the rainbow and touch it to that side of the rainbow. Just like this. All right, then slide it up. And then, put your rainbow at the top again. It's pointing toward yourself. Take this side of the rainbow, touch that side of the rainbow. And sometimes this is the hardest part to get it to line up. Just try to keep this nice and sharp at the bottom. Just like that. Okay? Now, when if you're going to cut a snowflake, you just start chopping out all kinds of shapes out of here. That's how you would do it. But for a shamrock, we're going to just make a more drastic rainbow right here. So we're going to come way up and over like that okay now i'm going to take and just cut this out and this should make a nice little four leaf clover oh it's a heart now we have double hearts and here we have our four leaf clover now you see i still don't have a stem but that's where i can use this piece of paper i'll just cut a little rectangle from the leftovers and attach that with a bit of glue. Let's see, I think I'll just, yeah, I'll just put mine wherever, it doesn't really matter. Stick that on there, and I think I'm gonna make this the back, and this will be the front, just like that. And then you can use whatever you have on hand to decorate this little shamrock and have a wonderful little activity for the day. Um, one thing that we like to do is this is a great opportunity to see how yellow and blue make green. You got your blue, you got your yellow. You take a little bit of blue and put in here. Then take a little bit of yellow and put in here. Whoop. Stir those up together. And that's how you make green. If you want it to be a lime green like that, use a lot of yellow. If you want it to be more of a turquoise sea green, put more blue in it. And so that's a great way to do some color mixing as well. The end.